It is my general uh, impression that uh, my colleagues uh, have not planned to go to Copenhagen in order to sign up uh, on a political declaration without teeth. Uh, they are heading towards Copenhagen in order to make serious business. And, and, and this, this is still my uh, goal. That is what we, I'm aiming for and I, I still think it's realistic. But of course for that we need the negotiators uh, at the level who are negotiating right now to make some progress Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, I foresee that uh, more than 60 leaders will arrive uh, Wednesday and from Wednesday uh, and until Friday the negotiations will be among, among leaders and uh, bringing so many leaders together representing so much Political uh, commitment should make it doable to make a strong agreement Friday. I think I still think that's realistic. I am encouraged by the fact that the uh, U.S. is now on board. Compared to the last uh, last presidency, I must uh, say that the new American president has, you know, changed uh, gear and uh, and uh, made huge progress but it's obvious that uh, we uh, would like to see more pledging whatever it comes to questions about reductions or perhaps especially money uh, because without money uh, on the table short term long term it will not be possible to close the deal next week <laughs> I think there's a long way to go. I think it's good that we have texts on the table that we can negotiate round, which aren't 176 pages long, and I think that's a sign of progress. But I think there's a long way to go. Speaking for ourselves, we want to be persuaders for the most ambitious agreement that we can get. I think there is a distance to travel before we get there. I think that just there are difficult issues to overcome. There are difficult issues to overcome around emissions, around finance, uh, and around transparency. And they're all issues that we need to tackle in the coming days. Yeah,